Hello guys and welcome to the Music Empire, the channel that spreads the gospel of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus through the talent he's given us. In today's video, we want to look at something very wonderful and interesting. And that is how to take one progression, one chord progression that you have learned from any source and expand on it. Okay, that is to take that same progression and then create other progressions out of it in different keys. And by the time you realize you are playing just one chord progression, but you are, you are using it extensively, even in other keys with different purposes. Okay, now let me show you what I mean. For instance, I can pick this popular progression that I, I believe most of us know this. Right? Again, let me go. Yeah, this progression, for instance, assuming you learned this progression. Now, now let's say you were in the key of C and then you learned this progression. Then, technically, you can see that this was a progression that led you to the 2, right? Because the D is a 2 in the key of C, okay? Now, it means that the progression was actually from the flat 7 to the 6 to the 7, flat 2, and then to the 2. If you set it my bass notes carefully, you will you will you you understand what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, okay. So um let's break down the progression itself and afterwards we will um do the expansion I'm talking about, okay? So on the flat seven in the key of C, on the B flat, I have the B flat right to which is um I have the B flat right tune, which is the A flat and the D. This is a B flat right tune. Yeah, I have a lesson on on, on tri tunes on this channel in the playlist. If you go to music theory in the playlist, you will see it over there. And then this is A, right? And I have the A tri tune, which is the G and C sharp. So, so I'm just dropping everything down by a semitone. So from the tri tunes, I go to diminished chords. So I play a diminished chord on the B bass note. Now this is a B diminished seventh chord. So I have the B on my left and I have F, A flat, B, D on my right hand. Right? And then I have now I have the C sharp diminished seventh chord. So I have the C sharp on my left and I have the G, B flat, C sharp, and E on my right. To the two itself, right? Now I'm saying to the two because we are in the key of what? C. So on the two I have the two on my left and on my right hand I have a, C, D, F, okay? Now, you realize that I'm not mentioning 5, 7, like I'm not using numbers or tonic sofas over here. We will, because we will extend this and the interpretation will be another key. So I want you to learn it as you are seeing it on the keyboard. We have... Yeah, something like that, right? Now we can do this. Yeah, so from the C sharp diminished chord, instead of coming straight to the D, we can play an E diminished seventh chord as well before the D is so all like. So from the C sharp diminished chord, what you have to do is very simple. What you have to do is just to omit uh, the G notes on your thumb and then place it on the on the on, on the other side, the G on the other side, which will be played by your pinky finger. Okay, so to then to the two. So now we have. Yeah, guys, and please do well to visit our website, musicempire.com. There are a lot of wonderful courses over there. Courses even covering these courses that we are learning here into details, as well as uh, Ghanaian Praise, Ghanaian High Life, Yang Ponsa, Intensive Ghana Worship Course, and all that. The link to our website is down in the description below. Just do well to visit musicempire.com. I'm sure there will be a lot of resources over there that will be very useful to you, okay? Now, let's continue. Yeah, that's the progression. So, it means that if we are in the key of C, and, and we want to, let's say, play a song. I will not really play any song. Let me, let me just play around with the progressions. We can easily use this throughout too. So we have a... Then I'll do... Right. Something like, thank you, Lord. So...
yeah, I think that was that was what I was playing, okay. But there's a progression from the two to the five most of the time. Now take a look at this. You know that if you go to the key of F, this same D. Now our destination was the key of D, right? You know that if you go to F, this same D will turn into a six, right? In the key of F, because look. Yeah, the D is the same as is the six in the key of F, which means that if you are playing in the key of F, we can take the same movement that we did. And then play it on the F, right? So we have I did it right now, right? Again. Okay, to the F. We can definitely apply it over here in the key of F. And then, um, so it means that if you want F and there's any song that leads to the six and you want to do a certain kind of movement to the six, you can just do. Yeah. And at the end of this lesson, I come to give you an assignment. And please, if you, if you're able to fulfill this assignment, just let us know in the comment section below because the answer to your assignment will bless all of us. Okay. Now, we can also take a look at uh, the key of B flat, for instance. And then, if you take, if you look at this D in the key of B flat, you will see that this is a three in the key of B flat because why? Look at the scale of B flat. The D is a three in the key of B flat. Which means that I can play the same movements in the key of B flat, right? So, sorry. Now it takes me to my three. Now from the three, you know that most most of the time the three can take us to a four, right? To the five, to the one, or a three can even take us to the six. So let's see. It works perfectly, right? You see, it works perfectly in the key of uh, B flat. It works perfectly as a movement to your train, right? Yes, and which means that in the key of B flat, the notes will be interpreted as what one. Look at my left hand. One to the seven, flat two, flat three to the three. Okay. Yeah. You see, it works over there. So, I want to make this lesson very short. The assignment I'm coming to give you is that look at this destination, which is the D. The D, and then try and then locate this D in another key where you can apply this progression. That will give you an extension or a different interpretation. So, for instance, I will not do this one for you. For instance, if we go to the key of, let's say, um, F sharp, F sharp, then the D note will be your flat six, right? So it means that if I want to do a flat six to the six, maybe it's possible for me to use it. I want you to discover at least two keys on your own that you can perform this movement on. You see, and then this D note will take you to a, a certain destination. There will surely be a different interpretation of it, right? Maybe in the key of A, if you look at the key of A, it's like I'm doing an assignment itself. In the key of A, it will be 4. Then let's see how you can apply it in the key of A. So it's like flat 2 to the 1. You see? To the 4, then. And then let's see how you can use it. Okay. There will surely be another extensive use if you sit down and then you, you take a critical look at what we have done over here. And so guys, this today's lesson is a very short lesson. I did not teach a song, I just came to teach a concept and then how to apply this concept 
extensively okay so i hope it's been a blessing to you i know if you sit down you'll be able to do a lot with what we have done over here god richly bless you and let's meet in our next lesson subscribe if you haven't turn on your notifications and please do well to share our link so that others will also be blessed as well and lastly try and visit musicempire.com there are a lot of wonderful courses over there that will bless you okay so god willing let's meet in our next lesson